Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar. This is, of course, another episode from our Amazon review series. Uh, we've got a, another package in today, or another product in. And as you can see, this is by the uh, ArborTech company, and this is the uh, Turbo Shaft. Now, uh, for those of you who do woodworking and uh, you know just just general woodworking, or maybe something a little more um, specific, especially with uh, lots of carving and things like that. Uh, you may have seen something like this before. Uh, if not, hopefully, uh, if you haven't seen it before, this will kind of open your eyes up to some of the products that are out there because I've been seeing some new stuff like this. Uh, might have been out for a while, but it's new to me. What this is, is basically, I would guess it would kind of turn your angle grinder into sort of a router. Uh, it's, I mean, not exactly that way, but uh, this does go on your uh, angle grinder and uh, it attaches just to the uh, standard arbor uh, that's on there, screws right on, and then you can use this. It spins, of course, around just like it would if it was a uh, disc, and it will then uh, cut out the wood. Now, the, the cool thing with this, of course, with it being a, uh, a shaft like this, you can make basically like plunge cuts like you would with a router. The difference is, of course, this is uh, maybe a bit deeper than you might be able to go with a regular router. Um, now, of course, this still isn't very big. Uh, on the side, it looks like it's a lot bigger than it is. Uh, this is only about three inches long uh, overall, and it's only, I would say, I think that's right around uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter. Uh, now, what you've got is the main shaft here, and uh, as you can see, it's not very long. It fits in my hand here. Like I said, it's about three inches long. Uh, at the back end, it is, of course, threaded, and that's what you're going to screw it onto the arbor with. And then on the front here, you have these round, uh, basically round discs, and uh, these are replaceable. Uh, it does use an Allen key, which they do provide, uh, and that, I believe, is this one right here. But then you also have this little collet, and uh, the collet will uh, set on the shaft here, and the nice thing is it's got the, this little, as you can see, another Allen wrench, and it's got a set screw. The set screw is actually set to uh, set on the sides here. Where the actual name is, is actually a flat, and you can, uh, of course, set this down on there, set a depth of cut so that you don't go past it, and uh, just tighten it down onto the flat so you can control your cut depth. I did get this somewhat specifically for um, a project that I want to do, so uh, keep an eye out on the channel and uh, see what that project is here later on. And uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully this will help considerably with uh, with what I want to do. The turbo shaft on the end of the router here, and uh, we're just going to try this out on a couple different things. We've got uh, a hard piece of uh, ash that's really dry. Got a little piece of, uh, of pine that you just get at the uh, hardware store or at the uh, lumber supply yard. And then I've got a piece over here that's, uh, uh, it was cut down a few months ago. It's a piece of, uh, a piece of maple. We may even try it on this. This is pin oak. All right, so there we go with the pine. Pretty easy, not bad to work with. Uh, if you want to make some signs or anything like that with it, uh, definitely pretty decent. If you're gonna use something like basswood or poplar, it should be roughly the same. So let's go ahead, we'll try the, uh, the maple next. There we go. That dug in there pretty good. Uh, they got pretty deep pretty quick. Again, this is still pretty soft. So, uh, you know, if you're working with uh, greener wood, it looks like it should do pretty decent on you. Now let's see what it looks like when it goes up against this, uh, this piece of ash. And again, this is pretty darn hard, so we'll see what it does. All right, so here we go. Um, now, it got in there pretty good. You can see I, I just kind of rocked it back and forth. I got a pretty good hole in there. Uh, that actually, if you're doing a carving, would be great for an eye. 
that'll do it for me today. This is another episode from the uh, Amazon review series here on World of Me. My name's Cougar. If you guys want to check this out, go down there in the description below. And, uh, you know, you can check out our social media down there. We also have a, a donate link down there if you guys want to help out with the channel. I uh, definitely would appreciate that. And, uh, you know, yeah, also don't forget, leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. My name's Cougar. This is the world of me. And uh, I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.